Hello, this is uh, the first of my five blogs that I will be doing for CSR, and uh, I just want to say that I hope my first one turns out fine. I'm still getting used to Windows Movie Maker and editing and everything and getting used to talking in front of the camera and no one actually there in front of me. It's kind of different. Anyway, for my first blog, I wanted to get into the kind of the business world of video games and what was the total consumer spending and everything, but I also found information on the demographics of people playing video games and buying video games, which I thought was important to know and to completely understand this industry, because it is a big industry and it's important to know who's buying the video games and who's playing them, and I think it's really important to find this out. Uh, I was able to find um, this awesome website with all information on the past few years in video games and like who's buying them and everything. They had it all in this great website, this one page, all of the information for I believe 2012. I wasn't able to find 2013. Um, like I said, this site didn't just have video game sales, it had everything. Like, I'll go into deep, further detail in a bit, but it had information on, I don't know, it's just a lot. Um, yeah, so this vlog is just going to be based about the stats around the industry and everything, and, and just the size and the importance of this huge industry that just keeps growing and growing. All right, let's start off. I'll try to get through all the stats and the ones that I think are important as quick as possible because I have a pretty good list here and I'm sure you can just check out the website that I will be posting down below in the information and in the email I sent you last. Alright, let's start off with the first stat. 58% of Americans play video games. That's over half of America. That is a lot of people playing video games. I didn't think it was that high to be fair. It, it is. 51% uh, of households, households own at least one game console so they own at least an Xbox. PlayStation or a Nintendo, which over half again, this it's crazy. It, everyone's getting these things. Uh, the average age of a gamer is 30, which I thought honestly was high. Apparently, I thought I knew a lot about this industry, but I really don't. 30, that's high. Like I, I'm only 21 and I play video games with 30. Wow. Uh, this one's really interesting. I thought the gender of game players was really important and I didn't think this was correct. <laughs> like, um, it says 55% of game players are male and 45% are female. I didn't realize the female stat was that high, to be quite fair with you. Um, I didn't think there was that many females playing video games, but I guess so, and it's still growing. And then under that stat, which I thought this stat, like I was surprised with the how many females are playing, 45% and everything, but the stat underneath was even a bigger shocker. It said here, women 18 or older represent a significant greater portion of the game playing population, which is 31%, than boys aged 17 or younger at 19%. So there's more females playing after the age of 18 than there are boys playing before the age of 18. That, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but wow. Uh, the next stat is 43% of game players believe that video games give them the most value for their money uh, compared to going to the movies or buying a movie or buying CDs like music. I agree that I would agree that video games do give me a better value because you pay $60 and you could be entertained for possibly years. It depends. You pay 12 bucks, you see a movie for two hours and then it's over. So I don't know. That's just my opinion and I think it could be growing. Um, gamers playing more in the past three years. This is the next stat, sorry. Say they go to the movies, they go to the movies less, they watch less TV and they're watching less movies at home. Um, this made me think that the that media is changing. 
like how people are getting information is changing. That's fair. There's internet, everything, and advertisers are gonna have to change what they're doing. I just for my first video report that I had it in the other day, I did the greatest movie ever sold, and they talk about product integration, and I'm just curious to see what will happen with video games. Will companies try to like they did with movies, try to get into the movies or get into the video games with their product and try to product placement, product integration, you know, just if you're running around in the video game, will you see Coca-Cola in the vending machines in the video game or a certain type of car parked on the street while you're running around doing a mission, you know what I mean? So I don't know if, I think it could be very lucrative for advertisers. I think it would be a great idea for them. And I'm sure, I'm sure we'll see advertisement inside video games very soon. Um, the next thing I wanted to go to was the was uh, stats on what parents think of video games and what they think of their kids playing video games. And I thought these stats were interesting. I was not expecting these stats. But uh, here we go. 88% of parents think ESRB ratings are helpful in choosing video games for their kids. So a huge portion of parents believe that the little ratings that you see at the bottom of a video game, the it could be rated M for mature or rated E for everyone to play it, like if it's like younger, no violence in that video game, it would be rated E. And parents really think that this is really helpful and useful when it comes to picking out good video games for their kid. 85% um, of parents are aware of ES ESRB ratings, so that means, I think in, that in my mind, it means that parents are aware and have faith in the ratings, they trust them for their kids, and they believe in them. 93% uh, of parents pay attention to the content of their video games, of their kids' video games, so the parents know what their kids are doing, what they're up to, what their video games are doing, what they can do in their video games, so parents aren't oblivious of what their kids are doing. They know what these video games are, and they still let their kids play them because they believe these are a good thing. In fact, my next stat says that 52% of parents say video games are positive for their child's life. So. That's over half of parents think that video games are good for a child's life, and I think that's that's amazing. Like, it it will get higher. That's that, no doubt. When there's younger parents coming into the mix and everything who grew up with video games, they will also believe that video games are good for their children as well, and it's just going to keep on growing and growing. Um. So I just want to. We're running down to the bottom here of all the stats, but. This last stat, I guess it's the most important one, it's just, it's the overall consumer spending in the video game industry for 2012. Um, in 2012, the video game industry was estimated worth at 20 20.77 billion dollars, which is huge. Like, that's a, that's a no-joke industry. Like, it, it is a lot of money, and it just keeps growing and growing, and it will continue growing with newer technologies and everything. It's, it's going to get big. Um, like I said before, I got all this information from the ESA, ESA website. Uh, ESA stands for Entertainment Software Association. Uh, these people also established a nonprofit ESRB rating system. That organization, they're nonprofit. They just, like I said before, provide ratings on video games to help parents pick out and make sure they're buying the right video games for their child. So I thought it was really interesting that these people did that. They're being really responsible. Um, and whenever I came to your office with my vlog topic, you asked me if I could find information on <coughs> who makes uh, the actual video games. Like, I'm assuming you meant like the discs and everything, where is it manufactured, and like what countries and how much the employees are made. I wasn't actually able to find barely any information on where video games are manufactured. I don't know if they don't want me to know, but I was able to find CD and DVD manufacturers. Most of them were based in the United States, so I don't know if they don't want me to know that they're actually getting manufactured over in Thailand or something in a sweatshop and their employees are not getting paid a lot like a Nike situation and they're just hiding it better from the public eye than other corporations. I don't know, hopefully I can find that out in future research. Um, and that should wrap up my first vlog. 
of this semester. I hope you enjoyed it, and there will be more to come. Thank you.